you know, this is really a job for Catalina. I mean, she's the engineering genius. Oh, there was Susie, her invisible friend. Her imaginary friend? Watching her talk to thin air like that, ooh, it, it's creepy. You keep listening for Susie too, huh? I think it's all a joke. She's putting us on. You better not say that where Catalina can hear you. You know what she'd say. I hate it when you say things like that. Oh, you think you know everything, don't you? No, you did not, Susie. I saw it first, and I get to name it. What is going on in here? I was on watch, so I... Another argument with Susie. Again? Oh, what do you know, anyway? I beg your pardon, young lady. Not you, Miss Davenport. Susie, she's being really impossible today. You know, you can't believe it. What's it about this time? Well, it's about this comet that I discovered. I did. Well, I was on watch, so I get to name it. But Susie here says that she saw it first. Yes, well, we all know about your comet. You've been talking about nothing else ever since you discovered it. Now, I think it is a wonderful educational opportunity. I have asked Commander Goddard for an immediate course correction to take us in for a closer look. That's a great idea. Then everybody can see the comet that I found. No, you did not, Susie. I wish you would just go away and leave me alone. Oh, what did she say? Nothing at all. She's... She's gone. There was a class of misfit kids from all around the place They snuck aboard a mystery ship We soon slipped through a spatial rip And now they're stuck on a long, strange trip Our lady Ben thinks he knows it all Catalina is talking to the wall Rattle's really super strong Android thermal functions wrong Over acts like nothing funny Rosie's cheery, bright and sunny system's so weird, I'm looking for a hamster on a treadmill. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll meet the aliens who designed the crystal and we can ask them to explain it. I'll add that to my list of some days. Like, someday, we'll get home. Someday, I'll be a star dog. Someday you'll learn how to pilot this ship. Listen, our maneuvers and course corrections take too long. If we can make the thrusters more efficient, do you know what that means? I don't know, but if you, if you hum a few bars, I can screw in that light bulb. <laughs> it was a joke. It means we get home faster. It also means that we have enough maneuverability to safely approach that comet Miss Davenport wants to show you. It is an excellent opportunity. Thelma said the yellow cable connected the thruster power to the ion glide. Ready? Let's see. Nope, that didn't work. It's so stupid. It was one of the dumbest things I have ever said. Was that directed to me? Oh, no. I'm sorry, Thelma. Uh, then you were talking to your friend, uh, Susie. No. She took off, remember? I was talking to myself. That's... interesting. May I ask, do human beings always yell at each other like you and Susie? No, only friends do that. Oh, I see. So friends are people you don't like. No, no, it's the other way around. Friends are people you do like. Well, then why do friends yell at each other? Because they care. See, you only yell about stuff that really matters. Like your friends. I don't understand. Neither do I. Susie? Where are you? Susie? Radu, hold this, please. 
Boba, I'm going to need your help. Give me a charge. Right here, please. Sorry, Commander. Accident. That's his story. He's sticking to it. One more time, Mr. Bova. I assume you are capable of controlling your aim? Let's find out together. Hmm. Why do we have to help with the dishes? I mean, why not let Thelma do it? Everyone has to do their fair share. Excuse me. What's this I've been hearing, that it won't take us seven years to get home? That is wonderful news. How much time have we saved? That's what I've been trying to figure out. Thelma. Yes, sir? I've reduced the finagle coefficient to 0 0.3. What does that work out to? The crystal will be back at the Star Academy in six years, five months, and two days. Is that all? Well, just shoot me now and get it over with. Six years, five months, and two days? Hey, I worked hard on that job. Doesn't anyone around here ever say thank you? Well, I, I guess it's better than seven years. Thank you. Thanks, I guess. You're welcome. Go get a good night's rest. Tomorrow's a busy day. Aye, aye, sir. What time do you want us to report to compost? Command post, not compost. Space hates smart, Alex. Be there at 0800. Commander, I am concerned about Catalina. What now? Pardon. She and Susie got into an argument about who gets to name the comet. So, Catalina is always arguing with herself. Well, it was a very heated argument. So? So Susie left left went away and now i'm concerned about catalina catalina has finally stopped talking to her imaginary friend and you're upset that's right good night miss davenport everyone has to do their fair share commander godard <laughs> Thelma, can you give me a hand? Rosie, Catalina, two demerits for being late. And there we have our friendly neighborhood comet. Catalina's comet, Susie's comet. Whatever. Now let's see if our young people have been paying attention in class. Bova, name one of the parts of a comet. The nucleus. That's the head. Correct. Harlan, another. The tail. Duh. Correct. Catalina. Uh, the... The fire? Incorrect. The coma. A hazy cloud which surrounds the nucleus and together with the nucleus comprises the... The head. As in, a rainbow head. I can't believe you blew that. Quiet, Mr. Pan. Comets travel around what, Rosie? The sun. Correct. The path they travel is called what, Raju? Uh... I, I know this. Uh... E e eclipses? Close. Who knows the exact word? Ellipsis. Sorry, strong guy. Brains over brawn wins again. Correct. The comet's tail always points away from what? Catalina. Uh, uh, well? Try and answer before we all die of old age, okay, Rainbow Brown? Okay, fine. I'm stupid. I'm nothing without Susie. Happy now? Well, that is incorrect. The correct answer is a son. Yeah, yeah, I'll go get her. Now, let's get all systems prepped so we can swing around for a better view of the comet's path. You mean the comet's ellipses? You have to come.
come back to the compost. I knew that answer. I did. What's the matter with me? You want a list? You think without Susie I'm dumb, don't you? No. Of course I don't. I think you're dumb with her, too. <laughs> uh, I am not dumb. I know way more than you do, Harlan Band. I know, for instance, that that this red crystal goes right next to this orange one. No, no, actually, the red crystal goes next to the pink one, see? <laughs> Don't be silly, Harlan. It doesn't go there. It goes here. No, look. I think we ought to put this back where it was. That goes there. Yeah, no, this, this goes there. there. Look, if you flip your rainbow, this goes there, Stop and this it. goes here. You're Stop. wrong. I am never wrong. Well, you're I don't wrong know what the this, this goes... Commander, the professors, they just went offline. Commander, you said you'd improve them. This is not what I would call an improvement. Fine, give me two demerits. There's a disruption at the power junction. Reroute the system. I'm trying. Commander, we're getting too close to the comet. This crystal adjusts the, uh, the heating units. Can't know that's for the ion glide. What's the matter, Harlan? Jealous because I can figure this out and you can't? This one. Don't! your fault, Cat. No way am I taking the blame for this one. No, you know, Goddard, he's gonna be nuts. I did it. It was me. Catalina, you're amazing. See, I told you. What? We might never have known that Krista has a system that can manipulate time. Maybe we can use it to jump time. Move quicker than hyperdrive. You mean get home faster? Exactly. Good work, Catalina Harlan. You can learn from her. She'll be my new role model. Did you monitor what Catalina did to affect the time warp, Mr. Band? Yeah, she touched everything at random and moved it around a lot. It wasn't pretty. Well, I got some pretty interesting results. Say, is it getting hot in here? Oh, hello. I thought you'd wish to know that the ship's interior temperature is rising rapidly. Hull temperature is at 230 degrees and rising. Complete meltdown of the ship should occur in approximately five minutes and six seconds. Would anyone care for a beverage? 
with lots of ice? I don't understand. Oh, well, when water freezes, the molecules slow down and crystallize so that water forms into ice of all different shapes and sizes. We're stuck in a Xeno warp. Time's normal inside the ship, but the outside's still stuck in the warp. Y yes, the time stress creates a, a, a thermal diffraction. What does that mean? We're burning up. We're going to fry. We're going to fry! No, we won't. We won't? No. The comet will probably smash its vids first. Susie, I'm sorry. We really do need you now. There's got to be a way out of this. There just has to be a way. Come on, we can handle this. Catalina, get over here. What if we jump to hyperspeed? Maybe that'll crack through the Xeno warp. We don't have enough power for a hyperjump. The hyperjump engines are fueled by ion particles. That's what the crystal cells collect from stars and solar winds. Yes, but we can't build up enough ions in time. We're not near enough to a star. Ion. The tail! The comet's tail. It's made up of ions like solar winds are, isn't it? That's right. We don't steer away from the comet. We steer towards it. It'll power up the engines and we break free of the warp. The, the, the thrusters are still offline. How do we fix them? The, the engine room. Harlan, thrusters are back online. You're steering the ship. Now, just get us close enough to the comet's tail without getting us killed. But there's meteors in the way. Try to miss the big ones. What was that? A medium. Oh. Thanks. Commander, more good news. There's something interrupting the energy flow from the ion glide to the hyperdrive. Yama? Black? We're red for the hyperdrive connector. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. That part of my memory melted 4.3 seconds ago. Catalina. You got a good instinct for this. Which one? Um, I think neither one. No, take the two yellow ones. That sounds right. What? I said, I think that that sounds... No, I know this. Commander, don't listen to her. Listen to who? Oh, Susie's back. Yeah, and she says to fuse in the red coil, too. But you don't have to. Trust me. I'm absolutely pretty sure of this. Famous last words. Commander, do something! I... Commander, this has to be my decision. It just has to. Yeah, your way is good, my way is better. Okay, the two yellows. Boba, give me a strong jolt right here. rising. Engines will be ready to jump in three minutes. Commander, we're being dragged into the comet. Collision in two minutes. The ship's hull will melt in one minute. Susie, now that's a great idea. Rosie, release the heat into the engines. That might help jumpstart it. Jump. Harlan, light speed, punch it! We're too close to the comet. The, the, the effects of emergency hyperinjection compounded by gra gravitational stress. Something could can blow up! You got a better idea? Light speed, punch it! <laughs> What 
that? Something blew up. It wasn't us. Common. The, the back flash of our hyperdrive shattered it. But we're safely away. Good job, team. Harlan, Radu, nicely done. Thanks, Commander. But this was everybody's victory. Even Miss Davenport did the right thing at the right time. I'll be all right, Catalina. Just as soon as my body temperature readjusts. Good night. Okay. Good night, Rosie. I'm fine. I learned that I can do things on my own if I have to. And I also found out what kind of friend Susie is. What kind? <laughs> the best kind. We're friends because we want to be friends. Are you and I friends? You know, I think we are. That's nice to know. You know, someday maybe I can name a comet for you. That would be a really nice thing to do. Susie, I know the comet blew up. But we still have to enter it into the log. How about we share the credit? Well, no, actually, that's not a bad idea at all. We can share the credit. Comet Catalina Susie works just fine for me. <laughs> no, it is not selfish. Comet Susie Catalina doesn't work. I don't know, it just doesn't sound good. No, you don't even listen. My way is alphabetical. Next time on Space Cases, Commander Goddard and Miss Davenport are turned back in time. Don't miss the next intergalactic adventure of Space Cases. Next week, same time, same place, only on Nick. Yo, this is Mark Summers asking a potentially dangerous question. What would you do? Coming up next on Nick. Mostly wrong. Overcrowded, rosy, sunny, Davenport is not too funny. Cat